Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman today presented the final full budget of the Modi government 2.0 since it took over in 2019. This is the final full budget before 2024 Lok Sabha elections next year. The budget speech that lasted for almost 1 hour 25 minutes among the key takeaways from the budget are big incentives under the new income tax regime and big push in capex. As the finance minister presented the budget, equity benchmarks Sensex and Nifty gained momentum in morning trade. The income tax rebate limit in the new regime has been also increased from 5 lakh rupees to 7 lakh rupees. The new tax regime will now be the default tax regime. The FM also reduced the number of tax slabs in the new tax regime. To understand what exactly this means for the stakeholders, we spoke to IMC president Anand Singhania. Here is what he said. I think it's a favorable budget. It's a budget for growth. Uh, it's a budget which will uh, accelerate India uh, from three and a half trillion dollars, uh, the trajectory to five trillion to ten trillion dollars in the next ten years. Uh, they have done a couple of very important issues, which uh, which are very important. Uh, if you look at the capital outlay, which has gone up from seven and a half lakh crores to about ten lakh crores. which is very favorable and hope that the government actually spends this money for the growth uh, of the uh, industry basically jo pehle uh, the up to 5 lakhs there was no tax if your income was below 5 now that limit has gone up to 7 lakhs so if you are at 6 lakh 95000 you pay no tax but for example if your your income is 8 lakhs then you become taxable so 0 to 3 lakhs you pay no tax earlier 0 to 2 and 1/2 lakhs you would pay no tax now 0 to 3 lakhs you don't pay any tax and from 3 lakhs this the slabs were 3 to 6 6 to 9 9 to 12 and 12 to 15 what has also happened is that somebody who was earning say 12 lakh rupees he would pay on that 2 lakh rupees he would pay above 10 lakhs full tax tax rate at 30 now that 2 lakhs has become 15 lakhs so up to 15 lakhs he doesn't pay full 30% he still remains at the lower than 30% which is i believe 20% so uh, the, the this is towards the interest earning in that uh, in senior citizen they don't have work they are earning they are living off the saving stream and therefore any rebate now will help them support them although india's population is uh, largely youth but we do have uh, the uh, senior citizens who need to be looked after in terms of their income stream because uh, uh, historically uh, incomes used to be very high 12 to 13% also they were there about 10 years ago now the savings rate is down to 6% 5 6% so therefore any rebate or anything will help to support the senior citizen which is a very favorable move uh we are still some time away so we have to see how the year progresses uh if you asked a, about a year back you did not know about the ukraine war it had not started if you asked 3 years back you never heard of covid you know so things change uh just like we had these two bad events so you the war is still continuing hopefully the next 12 to 24 months may be favorable for the world and for india and uh, this deficit could be met it also depends on how our growth numbers stack up and how the world economy plays because india is a part of the world economy It cannot be in isolation so i think a 20 lakh crore uh, budget uh, sorry 2 lakh crore 2 lakh sorry 2 lakh crore uh, 10 lakhs on capital outlay 2 lakhs here and 1.3 towards um, uh, the states it's one of the highest uh, it is the highest budget on capital outlay see connectivity is very important so when we look at rail connectivity and freight connectivity it's very important in order to ensure lower dependence on fuel on uh, carbon based fuel and towards higher mobility and uh, green uh, economy because people will as long as they you get better connectivity on rail and public system people will move away from their own vehicles into public system like all the developed economies of the world there's a lot of dependence even the most uh rich people also use public transport because it is efficient and is cost effective and it is also cleaner than public transport than uh, private transport i think i did not hear enough for the msmes because msmes are the backbone they have talked about some rebate uh, in terms of the uh, penalties that they face towards the uh, uh, their supply contracts to the government during covid but that's a small percentage 
there is already access to capital digitalization all the digital schemes you know the aadhaar based otp the uh, inclusion in terms of uh, uh, the fast payment mechanisms under upi all of these systems are helping uh, the msmes to grow but uh, perhaps some more support for msmes could have been heard but it's an ongoing thing budget is just not one of the things the government keeps coming up with new schemes so i'm hoping in the days to come that there will be more impetus on the msmes i think uh, market uh, since i saw it in the morning is already up by 1 to 2% and i think that trend will continue as people understand uh, the implications of the budget a lot of people are waiting for the fine print uh, like they say they will in the detail just to emphasize and to correct what they've understood at the first go uh, which is quite fav- quite favorable on a scale of 1 to 10 how much would you rate this budget i would give it a 8 i think i'm quite happy with the budget thank you So this was uh, the president of the Indian Merchants Chamber, uh, Mr. Anand Singhania. We are going to provide you with a detailed decoding of the budget, but for that you have to keep watching HW News.